Another type of decision is the adding or dropping products or segments. So over time, consumers' preference change and some products might be obsolete or be dropped from the product lines. So when we say it's obsolete, it can be the product is already out of fashion or out of trend, no longer functional for use. So dili na siya advisable that you will be continue that will continue producing the product. Others are also developed to replace them. So when management is considering dropping a product line or customer group, the only relevant costs are those that the company would avoid by dropping the product or customer. So remember always that in the relevant costing the the costs are, that they are considered as relevant are those which can be avoided when you choose the other alternative. An important factor in deciding whether to add or drop a product is the decision's effect on the operating income. Because um, even if the a certain product line incurs losses individually, we have to consider the impact of dropping that segment or that product to the overall operating income because we don't know, um, if we do not analyze it properly, that that segment or product contributes or helps absorb, contrib contributes to the operating income and helps absorb some of the costs of the company in total. So let's uh, use this illustration. Suppose a company furnishes the following recent operating segment for its three product lights, A, B, and C. So we have here all the revenues and the expenses for three segments and the total sales and expenses as you can see out of the three product lines or segments we have the product c which incurs a loss now management is considering to discontinue product c so uh, dili na continue on product c for the reason that it incurs a loss so the company can sell assets used in product C operations at book value and they would lay off the product C supervisor with no termination pay. So assuming that there are no changes, no other changes expected should the company drop product C. So you have to see here or you have to check here what are the costs of product c and what is the relative revenue and again in applying relevant costing you have to determine the relevant information in the in a certain situation so the relevant revenues and the expenses so of course if you are going to drop uh, product c you will be losing the sales and also losing some of the costs and expenses. So you have here uh, 300,000 would be the sales of product C. And what are the relevant costs or the avoidable costs of product C? So first is you will avoid the variable expenses. So since this is a variable expense, this means that this expense is dependent on the sales. As you can see, we have here the percentage, the variable cost percentage, which is 80% of 300,000. 300, so that's 240,000. What are the other avoidable costs? But according here, the, they would lay off the product C supervisor. So if they're going to lay off the product supervisor, they will av avoid the salary of the supervisor. So therefore, this is an avoidable cost. Okay. 
how about the marketing cost allocated to the product lines on the basis of sales since this is allocated to the product lines you can no longer avoid this one this one is not although dependent just sa sales in terms of the allocation but this marketing cost is overall for the entire nga company and gibahin-bahin na siya sa tulo ka product line so if uh, ever mawala si product C this amount kaning 21,200 will be divided among product A and product B it will still exist overall or for the company in its entirety so dili siya ma-avoid also the administrative cost allocated equally will still be incurred by the company as a whole it cannot be avoided so this 66,000 would be divided by a and b if ever the product c product line would be terminated or drop so therefore what would be the effect of dropping product c so you have here um if you will get the difference the contribution of product c is 300,000 minus 240,000 and minus 40,000 so there would be a net contribution to indirect cost of 20,000 meaning this is the amount of income that is able to absorb all other costs of the company diba there are costs allocated to product c so na ay na absorb aning 20 thousand so pina may absorb niya in the amount of 20,000 maobito nga 8,000 nga negative iya ha uh, operating loss so if ever i drop si product C mawala ning 20,000 nga contribution ni product C so in effect ana niya makulangan na og revenue to absorb the overall expenses katong mga allocated expenses so that would have a decrease to the overall income by 20,000 if ever they will drop product C so muga may ang operating income or ang overall income sa company by 20,000 if they would drop product C another uh, situation assuming that in addition to the data given the following changes are expected sales of product a and b increase by 10 percent and 15 percent respectively so by dropping product c ma boost ang revenues of product a and b then marketing cost will be unchanged it will still be the same 21,200 salaries of product a and b's product supervisor would increase by 8 percent and 10 percent respectively due to the increased sales and no increase in total assets so should the company drop product c in this case if we apply these um changes so let's look at the analysis so since product c is eliminated you can no longer see product c here in our uh, presentation so you have here for your variable expenses this is still in the given ratio we have 70 and 60 percent so let's check is if this is 70 percent and this is 60 percent so you have 440 times 70 percent that's 308 and 440 times 60 percent so that's correct next sales of product a and product b increase by 10 percent and 15 percent respectively so how much are the sales of product a and b so for product a that's 400,000 times 110% or 1.1 so that's 440,000 and you have 360,000 times 115% or you can uh, multiply 1.15 360 times 1.15 so that's 414 
thousand. So we plot that. Let's check here. Okay, you have four hundred forty and four hundred fourteen. Next is marketing costs will be unchanged. Right? Let's check. So the marketing cost that we mean here is the overall kanisha twenty one thousand two hundred. But remember that marketing costs are allocated on the basis of sales. Okay, so if it is allocated in the basis of sales, then let, let, we need to uh, compute the ratio. <clears throat> so how much would be the ratio? So you have for your sales, that's 440. Then that's 414. Okay, total 440 plus 414. That's 854. This is for A and this is for B. So we have 440 over 854 and 414 divided by 854. So we will allocate the overall marketing costs. 440 divided by 854 times 21. 200. So that will be 10,923. And 414 divided by 854 times 21,200. <clears throat> that is 10,277. Okay. 10, 9 to 3 plus 10 to 7, 7. So 21. 200 okay so allocate you have 10,923 and 10,277 next salaries of product a and b's product line supervisors would increase by 10 8 percent and 10 percent respectively so from the original 30 and 32 so we have 30,000 times 1.08 and we have 32 times 1.10 okay so 30,000 times 1.08 so that's 32,400 then 32,000 times 1.10 that's 35 35,200. Okay, that's for the salary. So let's check here. So that's 32,400 and 35,200. So we're done also with this one. Next, the administrative costs. Uh, no increase in total assets. The, in the administrative costs uh, are allocated to each product line. The total administrative cost is 66,000 divided to the remaining two product lines so that would be divided by two so therefore each would have a share of thirty three thousand okay now let's get the uh, operating income or loss for each product line so 440 minus 308 minus 30 to 400 minus 10 9 to 3 minus 33 you will get 50 55,677 and then 414 minus 248 400 minus 35 200 minus 10 277 minus 33 that's 87,123 for a total of 142,800 so therefore if the company would drop product c so let's compare that with the previous operating income previous operating income is 134,800 so the um the old operating income is 134,800 okay so if we drop product c applying all the changes stated then they will have a total operating income of 142,800 
which is higher than the previous operating income wherein product C still exists, which is 134,800. There are no uh, total asset requirements, no additional, so there would be no additional costs. But management should consider other factors like the future sales of product C and whether the increased sales of product A and B will continue without eliminating product C operations. If you like this video, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be updated with the latest video lessons. Thank you for watching!